Okay. Hey, nerds. Sage is here. So, um... Kind of an odd thing went on. Um, for those who don't know, uh, I guess I'll just go to the news post. Uh... Yeah, uh, Claire Reese is out. I didn't even realize I kind of lost track of time, I guess, with all the, you know, uh... Swimsuit stuff coming out. And even more awkward while I was doing this, I tried it out just to see how the modes were, and as you can kind of tell, yeah, we we kind of beat her on all of them. <laughs> um, I did these all first or second try, I forget which. Um, I did use a stamina potion, I think, so I'm probably second try with Infernal. Maybe a little bit more, I don't know. Um, actually, no, wait, no, I didn't use a stamina potion. Then where? Hmm. Anyways, so yeah, um, I mean, we'll go through them as sim, you know, from harder to less harder, things like that, so. Anyways, um, the one thing I found that really worked is baiting the, uh, green tome user, the green horse user over there. It tends to just work splendidly, because, well, it just, it does. <laughs> I know that probably sounds stupid, but it's just the easiest thing I've ever done when it comes to at least destroying a unit, at least for lively well, because he just comes in and is like, hey guys, I'm here, and Leo can usually take care of most of the other units that kind of come out, and then from there, um, from what I've noticed, the, uh, yes. the blue tome user on the, uh, on the side over there tends to be a little bit more dumb in how he does it, and Clarice is just going to constantly flicker up and down, up and down for no real reason other than because why not. And then from there, we just kind of move people in, do what needs to be done. Um, I try to make sure Leo's, usually by now, Leo's actually a little bit more hurt, but this is, you know, this is the easy mode. And then from here, we of course have, um, yeah, that. He comes in, tries to kill some of my mages. Nothing works too well for him. And then... Well, um, yeah, that happens. And this can kind of, you can usually substitute that with Ryoma. Ryoma works well, Xander works well at doing that. Um, this works in lunatic mode. In infernal mode, though, they add an additional unit that really kind of messes with horse emblem if you are not able to do it. And we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, so, anyways, I'm just gonna... The, the main tip here is just constantly bait that, that green unit, because once that green unit goes, Usually, it means that, uh... It just means that things are going to go very sour for them fairly quickly. Um, so yeah. And, yep, there goes him. Green unit's going to come down here, try to attack, get killed. And then Clarice just kinda... I don't know why she does that. She just kinda freaks out a little bit. It's a very odd thing to have. She just kinda, like, spasms out and is like, ah! <laughs> And that is where I found, you know, my units do well. This is Horse Emblem, though, of course, and I, I'm sorry, but I tried this with, I did this with Ryoma as well, and for the most part, it wasn't too difficult. It's just that, you know, yes. be ready. Um, okay, so he's going to come down here, probably try to uh, kill Cecilia. She's, he's going to get close, mind you. He's not going to get ridiculously close, but he will get there. So, yeah. And then from that, uh, Clarice should die from the combined assault of both. Your orders. Yeah, okay, so yes. first heal that so we don't have to worry yes. about that, and right. just kill who's necessary. I'm really happy there aren't crits in this game, <laughs> let me tell you. And bam, and there's Lunatic. Now, um, oh, Leo actually hit his next tier in hero uh, merits, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then from there, I'm going to try and replicate here. I don't... If I can't replicate it the first go, I'm going to be out of stamina, so I do apologize, but we will try to. See, the reason why that I'm, we're going to have problems with Horse Emblem is, well, because we have that thing over there. Uh, this guy up here has Panic Ploy, which means that all of my units that are in the line underneath him, you know, from where he is down to where my units are, are going to be affected by that, so... This is not something that's going to be fun, to say the least. But, um, right now I'm going to try and move Leo in here and hopefully bait them out a bit more like we did previously 
And then we're going to, uh, hopefully, have a uh, Ursula that is ready to attack, so. This should affect, the, this should happen the same way it did before. He comes in, Ninja comes in, um, that, they, they both die, and because of that, yeah. But here is where I want things to change. I want to get rid of that sword fire that has panic ploy, for obvious reasons. Um, from there, we should be able to move Ursula out, put uh, Leo in here, and hopefully things will go a bit better for us. Because they're going to constantly keep doing that, and then from there, I'm just going to do that. And get rid of the blue mage. Now here is where things will get a little bit more rocky, because... This is, unfortunately, what's going to happen here. Um, we're going to have to destroy the destroy the gateway. A little bit of the uh, area of the wall there that is still intact. And then we're going to have to deal with both Clarice and that red horse unit in the same go. Which may not be the easiest to do, but hopefully we can. And if not, oh boy. Okay, so we did do that. Good. All right, now hopefully yes. we can just kill him. So far, so good. Yes. Now that is the problem that I've had before. So yes. we need to make sure that Leo is topped off. He has all of his health. He should be able to ha man manage that from Clarice, and then we should be able to take him out with C C Cecilia. So there you go. That's how I did it. Ah, oh, man. Foo boy. And, you know, that's how I did both of the... Uh, both <laughs> Lunatic and Infernal modes. <sighs> um, my, my suggestions... I'm just going to use this orb so you guys... You know what? I know, I know. I know. People are gonna get mad at me for using that orb just to show you guys something, but... I will tell you what needs to happen for you to be, you know, a bit better at what... At least some suggestions for those who want to, you know, deal with this. Um... Again, baiting out the left session here, these two are key, basically. If you can deal with these two units that come at you, you can deal with anything else that comes your way. The simple fact is, that removes the bo uh, most of her ranged ability units that come out. Um, if you happen to have a green tome user, your Julias, your Ninos, and you happen to have them standing by, I would suggest putting you know one of those units over here, or any sort of unit that can take out the blue unit as well, possibly the red. Um, but really, what you need to worry about are these two units here, because once those two are gone, Clarice and this uh, the sword sword cavalier will start doing the dosi -si do in a sense. You know, we've seen you've seen it before. I'm just going to show you it again, just so you can see. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me just move these over, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, because, well, if you really want to try and force this, Xander and Ryoma do really well at baiting these. Um, I, I'm sure, potentially, I mean, he has a Gron Raven. I don't, I don't believe any colorless will do that great against him. But if you do happen to have some sort of, uh, you know, maybe another beefy mage like my Leo here, you will do just yeah. fine. But the idea here is to, of course, push him out. And make sure that they, uh, they have the ability to, you know, deal with them. Um, the ninja's probably the most annoying. Make sure that you don't have a unit right next to them, because he does have, of course, the debuffing there. But, once those two are dead, you'll see that, uh, Clarice there kind of has an issue. You know, she constantly will go back and forth. That's the idea, though. Because you want her to just constantly... D you know, glitch out there. I don't know if that's really a, what you would call a glitch, but it would be something that you want her to do. Again, she constantly does that. Back and forth, back and forth. And they will do that until you destroy the one half-broken wall there, especially if you can take out that unit there. Once that's done, especially if you have repositionals, it's always good to have them. And from there, they will just constantly keep doing that. Just back and forth. He'll keep using Renewal, she'll keep doing whatever the hell she's doing. It's yes. it's uh, it's a weird little world we live in. But you get the basic idea, I'm sure. And, you know, that is really all that matters here. 
hopefully, you know, you can kind of get the idea back and forth. And this gives you a good time, if you happen to have a healer like I do, to just heal up your units. I mean, it's not a bad idea. And here it goes again, back and forth. I mean, it's, it's, it's beneficial to you. If you can manage to do this, you can get them locked in that chain. Back and forth. And that's all that really matters. And from there, you just let the, uh, you let the, uh, tidal wave in. He'll come in, he'll try to attack one of your units. Hopefully not kill them. And then from there, we work on the next portion of the goal, which is to, of course, kill Clarice herself. She is a very heavy hitter. She has poison strike, so be aware that she will hit dangerously hard. Um, sh she won't kill my mages, but she does have the ability to potentially do so. So, um, you will want to have potentially a high, a high, <laughs> God damn it, a high damage dealing, you know, melee unit there who can come in and deal with her when you need to. She doesn't move as much as her cavaliers, but again, if you can get her and that cavalier stuck in that loop, you can take care of the rest of the units around there and deal with them afterwards. Because she is such a high risk unit, you don't have to deal with it right away, okay? That's all I have to say here, guys. Hope you have a great evening. Thanks for watching. Bye bye